The movie was incredible. It was jumping, just had me, you know, rocking on my seat, you know. It was an experience of a lifetime. It was cute. It was way cute. I loved it. It was brilliant. It was really good. I recommend it. It's a tea and jerica. I think everybody should see this movie. Maggie, why are you wearing a toga? Oh, you know, just getting into the Roman spirit for Hail Caesar. Um, don't you find that a little bit culturally appropriative? This is Emerson, after all. No, 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 that's what the movie is about. It's ancient Roman culture. No, sorry. No, it's that's wrong. Um, well, welcome to a new season of Real Reactions. I'm your brand new host, Maggie Morlath. And I'm your secondhand, slightly worn yet still operable host, Christian Mudrick. We've trekked all the way up Tremont through the snow to the AMC Lowe's Boston Common 19. And we're here to cover the premiere of the Coen Brothers' latest installation and hopeful Insta classic, Hail Caesar. These brothers' antics have brought us Oscar-buzzing films like Fargo and No Country for Old Men. And some pretty obscure dark comedies like Burn After Reading, where Brad Pitt just kind of gets shot in the forehead, George Clooney tumbles down some steps, and Frances McDormand wants a boob job? Well, they certainly do have a unique style of storytelling, but they also always have poignant satire, comedic crime, and a star-studded cast. <gasps> Speaking of a star-studded cast, this may be my favorite ensemble they've ever assembled, including the likes of George Clooney, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Ralph Fiennes, and the absolute love of my life, Tilda Mother Effin Swinton. Really? <laughs> Tilda Swinton is the love of your life? Uh, did you even recognize her in Trainwreck? Uh, she's transformative. She's a real actor. But you know what is also real? The reactions we're about to get. Come on! Uh. <laughs> Hello, Bert. Hello, Mr. Maddox. Lawrence, Obi, thank you all for coming. The studio needs your help. Bad Whitlock has been kidnapped. This is bad. Bad for movie stars everywhere. She sings the perfect time on me. Let's spend 24 hours. But we're looking for him. We don't want it in the gossip columns. This is gonna cost the studio a lot of money. And that's where you come in. I need some cash. You must have very strong forearms. Is it hard squeezing it like that? It's part of the job, miss. Alrighty, so let's start off with some initial reactions and a rating from one to 10. So I'd say a seven or eight. Eight out of 10? Definitely eight. For idea alone, I'd give it a seven or eight. And for execution, probably more of a four or five. Not quite there. Not quite there. If you could kidnap any celebrity in the world and hold them for ransom, who would you kidnap? Uh, probably Robert Downey Jr. Why? He seems like a fun guy to hang out, <laughs> hang around with. It isn't because of the drugs? Uh, no, probably Michael Caine, because he seems, I know, he's a little old, but he seems like a fun guy, and chill enough not to sue me if I did. How do you think Channing Tatum did with his dancing? He's actually incredibly, like, light on his feet, and, like, has a lot of, like, energy, and is a wonderful tap dancer. Can you show me some of your Channing Tatum dance moves? I can. Yeah? If you want me to. Yeah! yeah. Oh my god! That's a triple time step! Yes! <laughs> Just shake it. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Let's do it together. Ready? <laughs> that was amazing. This is a drama, man. It's a real drama. Mr. Mannix, I know it sounds screwy, but someone's calling from the future. Good lord. Wondering what's going on? Whoa, uh, are you still wearing that toga? I just want the Coen brothers to notice me. All right, watch this. You know what? I think you got the part. 
Just kidding, Joel Cohen just called and said you're eight months late to the audition and that you've been replaced with Channing Tatum. <laughs> Well, although our reactions may get a little ridiculous, maybe a little racy, they're always real. real.